Dear colleagues, I'm Dr. Chiarioni from Verona, Italy, the principal investigator of this cooperative study on treatment of levator Arnie syndrome. Run together my, with my Italian colleagues, Dr. Nardo from Mantova and Professor Vantini from the University of Verona, my invaluable nurse, Mrs. Romito, and my mentor, Professor Bill Whitehead from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Levator any syndrome, LAS, is defined by chronic or recurrent episodes of rectal pain or aching lasting at least 20 minutes in the absence of structural or systemic disease explanations for these symptoms. There is no consensus on its pathophysiology. However, chronic tension or spasm of the striated pelvic floor muscles is the most common view. The three most frequently recommended treatments for LAS are biofeedback, to teach pelvic floor muscle relaxation, electrogalvanic stimulation, EGS, and massage of the levator muscles. Uncontrolled trials support the efficacy of each of these, but reported rates of improvement have been highly variable. Goals of this prospective randomized controlled trial were to compare the effectiveness of these techniques, to assess physiological mechanisms for treatment, and to identify patient characteristics that may predict success. Inclusion-exclusion criteria were wrong two criteria, weekly pain, negative medical evaluation, being naive to all the investigated treatment, and no psychiatric disorder. According to Rome 2 criteria, patients were categorized as a highly likely LAS if they reported pain on traction of the levator muscle and as possible LAS if they did not. We randomized 157 patients to receive 9 sessions of counseling plus biofeedback or EGS or massage. Clinical and physiology outcomes were reassessed at 1, 3, 6 and 12 months by questionnaires and rectal manometry and rectal balloon expulsion test. Among patients with highly likely LAS, biofeedback was significantly more effective than EGS which was more effective than massage. At one month follow-up, adequate relief was reported by 87% for biofeedback, 45% for EGF, and 22% for massage. The superiority of biofeedback was supported by all the secondary outcome measurements considered, namely subjective pain improvement ratings, number of days per month with rectal pain, and visual analog scale ratings of pain. Improvements were maintained throughout the follow-up. Of major relevance, patients with the only a possible diagnosis of LAS did not benefit from any treatment. Biofeedback and EGS improved the LAS by increasing patient's ability to relax pelvic floor muscle and evacuate a water-filled rectal balloon. Significant predictors of success were patient's inability to evacuate the balloon at baseline and the levator tenderness on rectal examination. In conclusion, this study demonstrated that biofeedback is effective treatment for chronic protagia and EGS is somewhat effective. Only patients with tenderness on palpation of levator ani muscles benefit. The pathophysiology of levator ani syndrome is similar to that of dyssynergic defecation.